afternoon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, it has been long since I posted a new video and this is because lately I'm a little bit busy because I'm preparing for my second integration exam. You see, once you relocate to the Netherlands and you've got plans to have a Netherlands citizenship, there's an exam you're supposed to sit and it's one of the many requirements for you to have a citizenship. So welcome back and for those who haven't subscribed, please do so. If you've got some comments, some advice, please do it down there. And also don't forget to turn on the notification button and also give a thumbs up. So today I want to talk about some uh, Questions you are likely to be asked when you go for the short stay visa interview at the embassy. What are these questions? How are you supposed to respond to them? If you remember from my earlier video, I talked about some documents you're supposed to have, like invitation letter from your sponsor, uh, traveling insurance, uh, reservation tickets, uh, bank statements, you know, those are some of the, the documents you're supposed to have. And uh, once you have those documents, you're supposed to upload the application video, sorry, application form. In this application form, you're supposed to fill it and actually make sure what you fill in this form. It has to match with what is in your documents. For example, there is a part you're supposed to uh, to feel when are you likely to travel yeah and also when are you likely to come back make sure this whatever you feel in that section it's exactly what is in your reservation ticket this is very important because there's no way you can do uh, different information yeah for example you are traveling like on 27th of april make sure the ticket says so and also you do the same in the form and uh, before you go for the interview of course you make sure you are very smart yeah don't put so much makeups for the ladies it's not necessary and uh, make sure you keep time it is very disappointing if you be given uh, interview time and appointment time and then you go when it's late uh, it's better you go early, like uh, at the embassy in Nairobi, Netherlands. There is somewhere you can sit down and take a cup of coffee as you wait for your appointment time. So it is always important you take, you keep time, eh? you keep, you be on time, yeah. So one of the questions you are likely to be asked, uh, it's uh, when are you traveling, yeah. Remember you've written you filled in the form, you've got the reservation ticket, so they want to know, is the information you are going to give right now, is it going to match with what is in the document and also what is an application form, you know? Remember when you asked that question, they are looking straight at your hand, eye, and they want to know if you are sure of what you're doing, yeah? So in this case, you say I'm traveling on 27th of April, 2021 you know another question you supposed to you are likely to be asked it's um uh, uh for how long are you going to be in this country the country you are visiting yeah remember our uh, reservation ticket it's a return ticket that means it's the day you are taking off and also there is a day you are coming back so if it says you're going to be the 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 date of return is like after one month, 30 days. Say you're intending to stay in that country for 30 days. Make sure, as I said before, the information matches all through from the document, from the application form, and from what you say. Yeah. And um, another question you're likely to be asked is uh, who is going to sponsor you? Who is going to take care of this trip? Again, it's supposed to match as from as per the form and also as per the uh, invitation letter. 
because in the fiduciary letter your sponsor is supposed to declare that is going to cater for you financially is going to cater for you so if in the invitation letter your sponsor hasn't he has not declared that is going to financially take care of the trip and here you are asked who is going to take care of the to financially take care of the trip then you say my sponsor you've already contradicted yourself and there's a big problem there so make sure always yeah, the information matches you know there's a reason why they want you to say it of course they know you've got the documents you fill the information in the application form but now they want you as they look at you they want to see if it's something you've cooked or it's something you know what you're doing so always give a short answer in case you've said it's like for me i said it's my husband who is going to take care of everything and according to his invitation letter he had also indicated that he's going to take care of everything yeah so be careful when you're giving out the information another question i was asked uh it uh, when how did you meet this man yeah this was the first time and i had not met my husband so i said i've never met him but uh i came to know him through a friend of mine who lives in the netherlands and she's the one who introduced me and we've been talking over the phone through video calls and everything yeah so they want to know exactly have you ever met this man or oh, it's going to be your first time but let me tell you just a simple advice if you want to go to visit a man you've never met life you can never be granted visa that is something i've known they cannot just allow you to go and meet a stranger in their country that one cannot happen so the moment you say you've never met this man of course that one is denied so it is always good you say the truth so that it can set you free so another question you likely to be asked is um yeah actually this might be the first question but they will ask you why are you traveling to the netherlands you know for me i said i want to go and visit my boyfriend that was the first time the second time i said i want to go and visit my husband this is because he had come we got married and had the marriage certificate actually my marriage certificate was among the documents you know yeah but there is no way you can say you're going to visit your bo your husband and yet you are not married if you are married it's supposed to be a supporting document for the marriage which is a marriage certificate you know if you it's your boyfriend eh there's supposed to be an evidence that you've ever met as in your if he came to visit you in Kenya on his passport uh, supposed to show that he came to visit in Kenya so there's no way you can say we were met in South Africa yeah you met in South Africa and yet in his passport there's no a stamp for south africa you know you cannot say you met in zanzibar and you yourself you've never gone to zanzibar because when you go to zanzibar at least you must have a stamp yeah even if you're traveling through uh via the road is supposed to have a at the at the border you know so you make sure all the time you say the truth yeah so for now those are the questions if i can remember i was asked and actually the interview doesn't take that long it's a maximum of 15 20 minutes and uh, the questions are not hard they cannot even be more than 10 i remember my second interview it was like i took only 5 minutes and i was like huh is that all so it also it was always good to make sure you prepared well you have the documents you fill the application form well and you go you answer the question straight what to be asked if it's a close question please just say yes or no don't give so much stories eh because they are not even ready to 
listen to your stories. So for those who have plans to travel, I wish you the best luck. Prepare, make sure you've got all the documents. And for now, I say bye.